Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 105. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 230 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. And we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So welcome to Monday. It's, it's Meaty Monday. It's Meaty Monday because we love Heath so much. Meaty Monday for everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of wondering what are we going to, because we're not taping this on Monday. No, we tape this on Saturday. Yeah. So I'm kind of already thinking, is it going to be a corned beef day? It's not a corned beef day. Because we're almost to St. Patrick's Day. Are, yeah, but corned beef, we have corned beef on St. Patrick's Day. And then we have corned beef a lot after St. Patrick's Day. But not going up to St. Patrick's Day. Because it's expensive today. But yeah. it will be really cheap on the 18th. Afterwards. I feel like we're celebrating Christmas right now. That's true. But yeah, we're going to be getting a little bit more green in. Speaking of St. Patrick's Day, flavor of the week over at Keto Chow. Uh-huh. Green pistachio. Uh -huh. I thought they were going to do like chocolate mint because that's no, like a green pistachio. Sh they have a shake. special green pistachio. Well, I love that but, flavor. But then again, pistachio is already green. So yeah. I, just, I thought it was funny. That is funny. <laughs> I think that's a good flavor for this week. Now, we do have a sponsor for today's Keto on the Couch, and that is Perfect, Perfect keto. keto. I need to order more bars. My box is like yeah. empty. I mean, I have like a few bars left. But if you don't know what Perfect Keto is, Perfect Keto has a bunch of different nutritional products. We absolutely love them. Uh, some of our favorite things, they have bars. And this. Uh, what are you, you're pointing at that. You're pointing this, at the collagen. The, the strawberry flavored collagen is my favorite flavor. I, I mean, like peanut butter. I know it's not green, it's pink, but it's awesome. Yeah, so we actually, I mean, these are our favorite two flavors now. I mean, we like the other ones too, but I really like the new flavors. So we have strawberry and peanut butter. What that is that Rachel is drinking right now, it is a collagen drink. It is 10 ounces of almond milk, some water, some ice cubes, um, two scoops of the strawberry collagen and a raw egg, which she didn't know I put it in there. I did not know until just now, but it tastes delicious, it tastes, so I'm not the, sad. The, the egg emulsifies and makes it super thick and creamy. It's a milkshake. Yeah, it, it tastes delicious. We also have MCT oil powder. Um, the peanut butter one is really good. If you mix the peanut butter one with the strawberry collagen. Aw. And guess what you get? Are you getting like a peanut butter and jelly? You get a peanut butter and jelly. And then they also have a brand new strawberry lemonade ketones. Um, so if you do like to take ketones, and again, That's we tart. don't take ketones to lose weight. We will take the ketones so that if we need like a little bit more cognitive function, maybe a task, maybe you need a little bit more energy, that kind of thing. That's where the ketones are really good. Some people say they help satiate them and not eat in between meals. Okay. That's perfectly fine. Just don't think that these are going to make you lose weight any faster. Right. Because they're not. And then my favorite cookies, which really surprises me, and that is the Snickerdoodle cookies, except for well, these are, are chocolate, chocolate chip. chip. But that's because I'm out of Snickerdoodle. Somebody's been putting their hands in the Snickerdoodle. Uh, but yeah, they, they're Snickerdoodle cookies. I don't like Snickerdoodle, but I like their Snickerdoodle. Yeah. So here's the thing. The reason that they're sponsoring today is they are having a very special sale for St. Patrick's Day. Aww. And the sale is buy two, get one free. It's the first sale of the year. And the only other really big, big sale, this is like one of the best sales Christmas that they have, time. is when you get to Black Friday. So if you need any products, go ahead, use the link down below. That'll give you your discount. It's buy two, get one free. And along with that, I did want to announce, we have a new uh, partnership with their sister company. I'm excited about this. And that is Equip. Yeah. Okay, so uh, not to do too much in this video, but we wanted to mention it because we have a challenge coming up called the No Joke Challenge with Bronson. He's going to be coming on and doing a live stream with in us April. in a few days. And um, 
So one of the things that a lot of people know that we are really into eating a lot more protein. Yes. And some people, we love keto chow, but keto chow is made with a milk protein isolate. Some people have some milk issues. They can't tolerate the dairy. So we're like, what do we do? And they ask like, what other kind of protein powders can you use? And we actually are gonna have a video coming out of using this with keto chow base powder where you could make your own keto chow but not using milk protein isolate as the protein powder, using yeah. Equip. So Equip has all kinds of nutritional products and uh, we're gonna have a separate video on that one coming out, but their protein is pure beef protein. Right. It is really good. So here, for example, this is the chocolate flavor and the ingredients, grass-fed beef protein, cocoa powder, and stevia. That That's it. is it. Yeah. And also, probably our new favorite product, I've just canceled my subscription. To Calm. For Calm. Because we used to have that on the regular. Yeah, it came every month. They have a Smart Sleep with magnesium in it. This, this is stuff great. is amazing. Puts me out like a light. I use this in combination with uh, my Keto Chai Magnesium Drops when I'm working my games and stuff. So they have a bunch of different products, beef liver pills and everything like that, but we're gonna be working closely with them. Uh, we do have a discount code for them, which is gonna be linked down below, but they are also having a St. Patrick's Day sale. And by the way, the company was started by the same person who started Perfect Keto. It's like Aldi and Trader Joe's. Yes, exactly. And so their, their sale as well is buy two, get one free. So if you wanna get some grass fed, uh, beef protein, maybe you wanna have your keto chow, but also wanna have other just plain protein drinks without having, you know, cause you're not supposed to drink more than three keto chows a day. Right. Um, go ahead and pick up some of the Equip protein. It's really good. They have chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. But you can see by how like little ingredients they have, why we wanted to partner with them. Yeah, we Because we really can feel searched. good about it. Yeah, we searched for a long time on which protein do we really like? And we have been using their protein for about, I guess, two months, right? Yeah. And then we just decided now to and start it's working like, with them. I mean, I feel good all over. Yeah. I wanted to announce our, unfortunately, Keto Cruise got canceled. That made me really sad, but there is a silver lining. We are still gonna get to see people later on in this year. Yep, so I don't know if there's any tickets left, but you may wanna go over and join the wait list for Autumn over on Watch Autumn Keto. She is having an event in September called Keto Palooza. Yeah. And uh, it is in Louisville, Kentucky. It's a little bit different. It's not really a convention, really. It's more like a get together with a, a 5K and a meetup. An M-E-A-T. A me <laughs> meetup. So uh, all kinds of events. She's got some yoga plan, which uh, I'm gonna grab Richard and Chris and we're gonna go ditch that. Maybe, I think we're gonna grab Heath too. We're, we're gonna go find something other than Christopher. yoga. Christopher, all yeah, of y'all. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go find something else. I think y'all need to limber up and I think that you need to get some of those 1980s workout clothes for men. The spandex, like bright blue. You, We will lift the tank top ban in this house oh really so that you guys can put those shiny leotards on and do some what yoga. about like the 1970s like um like you know gym teacher shorts we could wear those right like yeah. when he wore them all the time in uh three's company right like those really those high up shorts that come really high up so we could put you in the suzanne summers like when goldberg bikini. Like stars on the Goldbergs, right? Right, and and you kind of look like him. In fact, people have actually asked for your autograph in the past, yes. thinking that you were Goldberg. He wears those PE teacher shorts mm -hmm. in that show. So like now we kind of have a preview of what you would look like if you wanna if you wanna wear those. You have to wear the high socks though. Also, I'm gonna leave a link for the Keto Palooza website down below. Now, as of the taping of this, which is Saturday morning, there were only ten tickets left. So she is gonna wow. have a wait list. Okay. So I I don't know. We may have to take over this whole thing and just like we're gonna get all of the keto people yeah. run into Kentucky and we're gonna have to make Autumn double this thing up. I'm excited Why not? because so many people I can't wait to meet Teal and Heath and Renee and Christopher. So many. And uh, also the Bears from Keto Chow are going to be there. They're sponsoring the event. So we're really I, looking forward to that. I just need to see some people face to face. Also, we're going to be planning a meetup probably in August. Sometime, um, I would say mid-August at one of the Florida State Parks further up north. Like either 
the St. Augustine or Apopka area. So it's kind of like central Florida, about three hours away from us, about three hours away from like the border of Georgia and stuff like that. Because we know it's a long drive to come all the way yeah, down here. Yeah, nobody wants to come all the way down south. Nobody wants to come. I, I don't want to be down south. I want to <laughs> I want to go up south, right? The go southerners up, are up south. Up south. They're, they're up south. Uh, but also, uh, we're going to mention now, because the cruise got canceled, we are planning a nine-day trip to New York. Yeah. And that is going to be around the last week of April into the first few days of May. Uh, we're going to visit my mom, but what we're going to do is we're going to take three days to drive up or two and a half days to drive up. It's about 1,200 miles. And uh, then we're going to stay there for two or three days and then do the same coming back. So along the way, we were thinking about stopping because we're going to drive like seven hours a day. Right. And we're going to stop and see if anybody wants to get together for some coffee, maybe a meal or something like that. And so if you're in the areas, kind of let us know down below in the comment section. The areas that I'm thinking about making the stopovers would be somewhere around the... Uh, south of the border area you right. know, like so north carolina south carolina probably somewhere between the georgia border and south carolina that was that actually, would put about six and a half seven hour drive wasn't that where your parents actually honeymooned yes was south of the border yes it was wow <laughs> That was a lackluster so like surprise, right? We're going to look for some RV parks. I was actually talking to some people from Five to Go Discord, which is an RV channel, and they were telling me there are actually some really nice pull throughs and stuff nice. at south of the border. So I'm going to look into that. So somewhere in that South Carolina area, we're going to make the first stopover, and then the second stopover will probably be somewhere in Pennsylvania because we're going to the Catskills in New York. So that would be the leg up. So let us know if you're interested in getting together with with us one of those two stopovers on our way up to New York and put that down in the description we just love to see you yeah so uh, are you ready to get into some comments do we have anything else that we need to talk do about this I don't yes. think so I think we're ready for comments right yes okay so let's take a quick commercial break and we'll come back with comments how's your shamrock shaking today <laughs> I feel like something is wrong here I have coffee and you have the shake. I, don't I feel think, like we need to switch. No, I don't think anything is wrong about this strawberry shake right now. We should have made that green now. We should have put some green food coloring in that. I'm up for it. We could actually, we should make a shamrock shake. Like, I love mint kind of shakes. I like mint, but this strawberry, though, I'm all about it. Like, just dye this one green. I'm fine. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time for Keto on the Couch, you may notice if you're watching this on Monday at 10 a.m., there's a live chat going over, I think it's right over here, right? So that live chat is Rachel or myself or both of us. If you see two crazy campers, that's me. We're chatting I'm with two you. crazy ketos. So what we like to do is on Mondays, uh, we premiere this. People keep asking why are we doing the premiere? And we're doing it because some people like Keto on the Couch live. Some people hate it live. So this is... A good Together. mix, right? And then if you do want to just be a complete live stream, there's two ways you can do that. The first way would be to come over to our Thursday night live stream, which is every Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we do a live stream. Actually, there's three ways, because you can also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so that you're notified, because sometimes we just spontaneously go live. Or combust. Yeah. <laughs> And sometimes we do it in Facebook group as well. Yeah, we do. And then the other way is we have a monthly live stream over on our Patreons for Patreons only. We kind of just get together, have fun. Rachel comes up with gimmicky games and stuff like that. And They're nerdy. We're going to, as lacrosse season kind of dies down, be stepping that up to probably like a Zoom call as well as a live stream. Because we want to see their faces too. Yeah, because we went and bought a Zoom account. So now we're we all ready. We can take up to 100 people on a Zoom. We're Let's ready for you guys. Guys. Can you imagine how loud that could be? Oh. Like, especially when we started Zoom calls. How about calls? If we never mute anybody? Don't Everybody mute anybody. just shouts. Just say whatever you want whenever. <laughs> there was, I was talking to the moderators this week for our family group mm -hmm. and um, was just sharing. There was like a, a funny Saturday Night Live skit where mm -hmm. it was like a worship leader was like meeting with his church or a pastor was meeting with his church and they didn't turn any of the mutes off. Right. And so everybody's just talking in their family and he's just trying to get them to please just turn your mute on you know it was just it was hilarious so cute 
Okay, it is time for our Keto College Adjunct Professor of the Week. If you're new to our channel, uh, we like to go to our Facebook family group and find a post that we found extremely inspirational for yes. the week. And this week's is from Blaine. Hey, Blaine. And Blaine said, uh, it can be harder to see movement on the scale, but take a good look at your body, your wardrobe fit, and the general way you feel. You may be surprised. I didn't realize the benefits I was getting from keto at first either. Clothes fitting better, the loose pants, fewer carpal tunnel pains, less neuropathy, a far less urgency when I needed to pee. Yes. Those are just a few of the benefits. Don't give up. Stand fast. You will see results. Maybe just not exactly where you expect. Well, I think that that is so true. First of all, Blaine, thank you again so much for my ponies. I'm like using those <laughs> as like, did you do good today, Rachel? Stand up a little pony. I love them so much. But um, yeah. Sometimes when we talk about like our loss of arthritic pain, you know, inflammation, things like that, you're kind of expecting that, you know, you're going to see movement at in a certain period first. But I remember that the carpal tunnel pain that I experienced was one of the first signs that my body was healing. It mm. wasn't necessarily the migraine headaches first that right. went. So it's interesting that things are moving, things are happening, but like, don't be panicked if you're expecting to see progress in one area and it shows up in a different area. It's still progress. Right. I was thinking yesterday, uh, Anthony and I had to drive down to Miami and we worked two lacrosse games back to back and they were very good games. And the reason I say they were very good games, one was a JV game and one was a varsity game. Because when it's not a very good game, <laughs> you tend to, as an official, get lazy. Aww. And I absolutely will admit that I do that. Like, you know, when the score is like 18 to nothing at halftime. Hard to get excited. It's hard to, like, get the motivation to run full force down the field. Because you're that. like, you know what? If he scores, he scores. Who cares? It's already <laughs> 18 to nothing. It's not like that goal is going to mean anything if I miss it by an inch, right? Mm. It's just, it's just, it's not a good attitude to have. No, it's not. But... You do, like, when it's a good, tight, close game, like a JV game that was back and forth, back and forth, a 7-7 seven, seven ending in a tie, like, you are hustling because you don't want to be the cause of that team losing. Like, you missed a goal or you missed an end line call or something like this. You want to get in position so you run harder, right? Yeah, that makes and sense. And our varsity game was the same way. It was two very good teams really working hard. Because of that, in from the first game, which started at 3 o'clock, and the second game, it started at 4.30 and went till 6.30, I ran slash walked slash jogged <laughs> nine and a half miles. Wow. Yet I don't have any pain today. Now, I have a little bit of pain, but the pain is not in my ankle from the pins and the arthritis. The pain is because my electrolytes are slightly low, so I'm cramping in my calf. Which That's means amazing. just like get some electrolytes. But years past, I would be crawling oh. to the bathroom after working that game. Yeah, it was so hard for him to get out of bed. I We actually would want to switch sides of the bed because my side of the bed is actually closer to the bathroom. And I felt horrible if I didn't let him just switch sides with me when after a game like that because it was so much further for him to even just get to the bathroom. Do you know why I sleep on the other side? Because the door to like the, the outside is, right. is there. It's like a protective thing, I isn't like it? I put myself between the door and you. That's really sweet. <laughs> but no matter what, if the door was on the same side of the bathroom, mama's getting the bathroom side because I'm like- I'm curious. I need a quick journey to the bathroom sometimes. What side of the bed do you sleep on if you yeah. have somebody that you sleep in a bed with? Do you sleep on the right or do you, do you sleep on the left? So I sleep on the left. To? The funny part was it was very weird when we moved to this house because I used to sleep on the right because right. that was closest to, to the, the door. door. And then we bought this house. I It was very weird adjusting to sleeping on the other side. Also, when we go into a hotel room, I want to sleep closest to the air conditioner yes. because that is the coldest space. So I wonder also if you're in a hotel situation what side of the like what are you trying you to get close sides. to yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay uh let's move on to our subscriber of the week now Yay. if again if you're new to our channel go ahead and join our facebook family group there's a link for it down below and people go in there they put up their success stories share recipes um they put up different deals that they might find struggles 
we ask you to please not promote like different types of multi-level marketing companies and stuff. We do have several moderators. If you have some different things that you may have an issue with, just kind of send one of those moderators a message. We greatly appreciate that. Yeah. And every week we like to choose somebody who has put their story in there to motivate us. Yes. And this week is from Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Kristen said the first picture here is me on October 2020. The other one is me today. I have been keto for almost three and a half weeks. Wow. My clothes are getting baggy and I've lost 20 pounds. Way to go. I will never go back. I feel so much better. It's like an experience life for the first time. Wow. What a difference in just three and a half weeks. Oh right? my Look at her goodness. face. It is so amazing to see wow. those transformations. Well, and here's the thing. You can see like even the puffiness go down because mm -hmm. that is the inflammation leaving our bodies. Yeah. That is so incredible. You look amazing already. Way to go. And again, here's the thing. I mean, one of the reasons I chose that as our subscriber of the week, because we say it all the time, your story is going to yes. impact somebody. You don't need to wait until you're at your goal weight. No. I'm not at my goal weight. I mean, you, you want to put your stories as you go along because there is somebody who is going through something that you either have gone through or are currently going through and they think they're alone. And when you share your story, they're gonna be like, oh, somebody else knows how I feel. So that's yeah. why we ask you to share your story, whether you're a week into it or three and a half weeks or a month or a year or five years, put your story into the Facebook family group. Can I share kind of a recent change for me in my plans. Okay. I stopped um, thinking about a goal weight and I am going to stay at a goal size. Okay. Because, are you, wait, whoa, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let me taste your coffee though. It does taste kind of amazing, but I'll let you, this oh, is wow. really good. I'd much rather have that right now. But I used to be very fixated on a number, but the more I'm exercising, the more muscle I'm gaining. Mm -hmm. And I know that there there might be a time where my, my muscle gets to the point where I'm weighing more than I am right now. I am super proud of you. Now I'm going to ask you to do something that, attention gentlemen, especially if you're single, don't ever do this, but okay. I'm going to do it anyway. Uh-oh. Do you mind if I ask you, how much do you currently weigh? Because uh, people say you you look very thin. Well, thank you. And you're you. in like a size zero, size two. Yeah, and I currently weigh 150 pounds. Wow. Which is more than I have weighed like during the life of our channel. Right. I think you were probably- at one point on like 138, something like that? Well, like that was for like a nanosecond. Okay. But then mostly it's been like 143, 146, somewhere in there. And that used to always be like my sweet spot mm -hmm. as far as fitting in my clothes and everything. But now at 150, I feel like super strong. I fit into stuff. In fact, I'm starting to fit into more pants because here's the thing with thrift store shopping, um, you can't try anything on right now. Right. So I bought pants thinking that, you know, this is the same size. If it's a two, I should fit in it no matter what. I did learn from somebody that you can take a, uh, a pair of pants and wrap it around your neck and that will be your waist. That's I just recently found that out. Cause I know from here to here, thank you, Julia Roberts, that's your foot. Right. But I did find out that you can check and see if something's going to fit around. I don't know why. It's not like my neck is the same size as my, but it must be something right. about it because it has worked. Okay. But there was um, some areas in my legs that didn't fit these pants. So I brought them home and I had three pairs of jeans that did not fit in my legs. And so I was so upset because you can't return you can't them. can't return thrift store. Because it's a thrift store. But I thought, all right, I'm just going to, you know, keep them and they'll be kind of like gold pants. Right. And so, uh, yeah, I started fitting in them. So let's let's get this straight. So you're five foot seven. Mm -hmm. And a half. And a half. Okay. Don't Five forget foot my seven half. and a half. Mm -hmm. You weigh 150 pounds. I do. You used to weigh like 142, 143. Right. You're the same size or smaller than you were back then. Yes. And you're not mad at the scale because for a long time you were screaming at the scale. I was so frustrated, but I'm telling you the game changer for me to absolutely snap out of it was getting the new scale that we have now and being able to see the breakout between what is fat and what is actually muscle. Right, and again, when you're using these body fat scales, 
don't just take one day. Like that, this is the one time I'm gonna tell you, get on the scale several times during the week. Just don't look at the weight. You look at all of the other yeah. numbers. And the reason I say that is because the body fat scales aren't perfect. Even if you go get an in-body or a DEXA scan like at a store, uh, they're not perfect and there's so many things that can impact it. Like, are you measuring right after exercise? Did you eat? Did you drink a bunch of water? Are you dehydrated? That could all affect those scans. Mm -hmm. So you want to like kind of look at day by day by day and see the and trend it, it of going to, down or going up. It's like up a and, weird little Yeah, but ripple. you want to look at that trend. But I want to say I'm really proud of you. And just for the record, your high weight was like 265 or something like that. At right what about, size? What size were you wearing? I was um, I was really stretching into a size 24W. Wow. Like I was ready to go up to the next one. You look amazing. That's kind of like me. I, I was wearing a 42, but probably should it was have been working like hard. a 46. That I was... It got to that point that like, yeah, uh, basketball shorts, pretty much the only thing I could wear because like super, super forgiving. It was interesting. The only exercise that I was really getting back then was the launch from like jumping from the floor onto the bed to make those size 24 pants zip. And they weren't like jean material. They were like, it was the, the kind that were, you know, super stretchy. Right. So it was like. Wish I was jeans. Let's get into some comments. Okay. Okay, so the first one is from Laura. Hey, Laura. Laura said, I just wanted to say thank you for everything you do for us. You guys are great. I love your personality. You are very inspiring. I also want to tell you that I have been keto a little over three months and I've lost 27 wow. pounds. And I found out that it's helping my fatty liver, my high blood pressure, and my thyroid. I am happy about that. And my new doctor I have is supportive of the ketogenic lifestyle. Man, Laura, congratulations. That's amazing. And having a doctor that supports you in a keto lifestyle is That's amazing. It's a game changer. It really is. Because mm -hmm. I know my mom has said that it's so frustrating when you go in and you're having all of these great test results and your doctor's like, yeah, but right. I still want you to be like on the Cheerios diet. And you're like, oh, <laughs> that why? Why can't you just celebrate this with me? Speaking of the Cheerios diet, I'm going to leave a link right up here for a video that is amazing amazing and it talks all about like the history of cereal like where did it come from like even before kellogg's and like basically like what the cereal industry has done and that it's thankfully also on a decline like they are not doing well right now because people are skipping breakfast and people are noticing like hey like there's a ridiculous amount of sugar in these things, even the adult cereals, right? Yeah, well, and here's the thing. When you're watching that, think about all of the other foods and sodas that have been a part of your life that you're thinking to yourself, you know what, this all originated in advertising. Mm -hmm. It's all about advertising. Yep. What were they telling us? And, and America got really good at advertising. And I think part of the reason why we're disconnecting and making it like easier to disconnect from some of the products is you're not getting a constant barraging where people don't watch commercials all the time like they used to. Once you got like a DVR and you know you're you're watching things on Amazon Prime or something right. like that, you're not watching as many commercials and they don't have such a foothold in your life. Yeah, yeah. Now after you're done watching the cereal one, watch this other one that I linked right up here, and that is he does one on the soda industry, yeah. and that one is even scarier. Now don't. Of course, go watch this until after you're done watching Keto on the Couch. <laughs> right. But go check them out. They are really, really good videos. And it just, it really looks at behind the scenes of like soda and what they've done to our, like our health and the way they manipulate everything. So. I like to make decisions for myself. Mm -hmm. And when I find out that maybe I've made a decision because somebody has kind of like, tricked me or there's been some propaganda that I have like latched onto, then I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now I want to rethink. Am I choosing this because I've chosen this or has it been because somebody's kind of manipulated my feelings and that's how I chose it? Yeah. Okay. Next one is from Leslie. Hey, Leslie, you spotlighted my journey a couple of weeks ago. Just wanted to shout out from the rooftops that I am down to 196 wow. from 308. That is so awesome. Congratulations. Wow. Great job, Leslie. Man. Okay, next one is from Shannon. Hey, Shannon. Shannon said, please do not recommend a 3D <laughs> printer. 
I cannot even begin to tell me how many products I have purchased due to your recommendation. Bless your heart, <laughs> Shannon. Yes, Joe is waist deep in the 3D printer. It is a rabbit hole that if you, if you want to know like why I'm late getting videos out, it's because I'm down a rabbit hole right now. He's playing with it. I'm playing with a 3D printer. So it's really cold. It's called, it's really cold. It's really cool. Uh, it's called, it's an Ender uh, 5 Plus is what it is. It's a 350 by 350 by 400 uh, bed. So it makes really, really big things. Is it E-N-D-E-R? E-N-D-E-R. -E -E like you a can free get them time on ender. Like it will end your free time. I'll put a link for the one that I've got down below. It was recommended to me by Luke, who is also known as L3D, and also uh, was used to have the name um, One, one Bad, Bad Marine. Marine. So he is one of our subscribers. He is way into 3D printing, very involved in the community, and he has really been helping me try to fast you know track my learning this hobby because super accessible too i have a tendency to when i get into a hobby i go all in i i go i don't go waist deep i don't go neck deep i go like over your I'm, head i'm like six feet over my head yeah. deep. like gotta have every accessory gotta make every modification like literally i got this thing and in the first three days i'm like taking things apart rachel's like what are you doing i'm like this is just me I've got to, I'm the guy that gets the brand new car and rips out the seats and pulls out the stereo and, and does all kinds of modifications. And I'm the wife that rolls her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so Luke has been really awesome. I will leave a link for that one down below. And it actually made me redo our entire garage, right? I built a giant bench so that I can have it out there. I was not upset that like you built- The garage got clean? That the garage got super clean. You you made this gorgeous like scaffolding of like storage units. Yep. I, I love it. It also allowed me to move my gym mat out there, right? Because yeah. our oldest son, John Paul, who does not live with us, uh, he is married, living away from here. And uh, he is way into CrossFit. And he gave me like a workout mat. Like, you know, it's a gym mat. Remember those tumbling mats that you had? Mm -hmm. So he gave me one. So For we gymnastics. moved my, my weights out there. We don't have a lot of weights. We just have a couple of like uh, bar uh, dumbbells and we have some kettlebells and we have These a slam dumbbells. ball. Right, and I love this slam ball because I was using it in the house and getting. He gave you at. a kettlebell too. He gave us a kettlebell, and so I've got it out there. So it's kind of cool. I can kind of go out there, and I don't have to move everything around inside of the house. It's really nice to have the space. Yeah. So, uh, next one is from Danielle. Hey, Danielle. She said, uh, "Rachel, I have to thank you for something you said on another video." It is currently 5.28 a.m. and I am watching this while walking on my treadmill. Aww. I have been wanting to start exercising, but I couldn't find the motivation until you talked about your first five miles of the day. Wow. That inspired me to give the first five miles of my day to me. Today is day six. I use this time to catch up on my favorite keto peeps and get my exercise in, so there is no room for regrets later. Thank you guys for all you do. I feel that you do way more than you are aware of. Danielle, you just bless me so much. Like, thank you. Because sometimes, you know, you feel like, do, do, you, do I want to share this? Like, right. is this too much information about my life? But I really do enjoy having those first five miles of the day. Mm -hmm. It is me time. I have started the day with me and what is important to me. And the rest of the day... I, I find that I don't feel like um, I'm deprived of anything right. because you had the me time first. You you were able to prioritize your health goals, my time with the Lord. It all starts first and then I go on to serve others. Whereas before I felt like it was upside down. It was like, you know, you serve everybody else. And then if you have any leftover time for yourself and, and God, <laughs> then, right. then that's what they get, the leavings. You and God get the leavings. Right. So I think that flipping that and, and starting out those first five miles, prioritizing yourself, you really are going to feel better. Mm -hmm. And and I have a better attitude with everybody else right. because it's not like you're draining me. Right. I right. love it. So I'm glad you're doing that too. Our uh, next one is from Greg. Hey, Greg. I had an appointment with a new dentist this morning, and one of the questions on those health forms was, do you snack between meals, and what do you snack on? I almost checked yes and wrote in bacon, <laughs> but I didn't because it was my first visit. Also, I wanted to thank Rachel for dressing up for my birthday next week. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, am I dressing up for their birthday? I, well, you are dressed up. Awesome. <laughs> well, happy birthday. We should sing happy birthday to Greg right now, don't okay, you think? Okay, we can do that. All right. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Greg. Happy birthday to you and many more. Yeah, I didn't realize you're all dressed up. You look really good. It's for Greg's birthday. I'm wondering what would happen if you went into the doctor and put like bacon. Like, what do you snack on? Bacon. Lots of bacon. I bacon think that's and hilarious. Bacon fat and more bacon. If you really want to get the looks like I do, pull out some purse bacon. When people see like you pull out a snack, like other people are, are, you know, pulling out kind of a carby snack or some sort of granola bar or something. And then I pull out bacon nice. or meat. Okay, next one is from Marianne. Hey, Marianne. Marianne said, thank you to the person that gave me a new perspective on what I've really been depriving myself of. I thought I could get to do those things I wanted to. Better grandma than I was mom due to my weight and health issues, travel, camping, teaching, crafting. You get the idea. Living. Yes. Is depriving myself the bread, the pasta, the beans, the big deal, that big of a deal in the big picture? God bless you for sharing your testimonies. I am a single senior and it's hard doing anything new by myself. Y'all help me not feel so alone. I love that so much. Yes. I mean, we talk about sharing your story and how it's going to impact somebody. This is why. This is exactly why, because it 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 was just such a blessing. You know, a, a great author, Alex Haley, who actually wrote the book Roots that later on became, you know, popular miniseries. It actually was published the year I was born, 1976. Okay. But he always had a picture in his office of a turtle on top of a fence post. Huh. And he did that to remind himself that if you see a turtle on top of a fence post, you know that somebody helped him get there mm -hmm. because a turtle can't get on a fence post by himself. Oh, I like that. And so I love remembering that too because we don't do this by ourselves. Like we need each other. I, you know, we weren't meant to do life alone. That's true. Right? So we need each other and we can help each other get on that fence post so we can have a new perspective. So thank you for the person that got you on the fence post and share your story so that you can bless others. Yeah. And for those of you who are like, I am alone, you're not alone. Okay, you have us, you have our Facebook family yes. group. That's why we started it. We have our Discord. There's a link for it down below. It gets it really upsets me when I see people say, like, I have nobody, because you don't. You you right. may not have anybody in person, but you have an entire family here within the two crazy ketos community. You do. And do everybody a favor because you are gonna be such a tremendous blessing. Come out of your shell, little turtle. Don't <laughs> stay in your shell. Uh, next one is from Mary. Hey, Mary. She says, I love the comment about pole dancing. I do too. I started doing uh, pole dancing five and a half years ago. Oh, wow. Right before turning 40. Now at 45, I'm stronger and more confident than I was in my 20s and 30s. Thanks to the pole, keto, and all the other things I do to support my health. It's a great workout. Go for it, Rachel. And thank you both for all you do. I love your videos. I'm thinking let's take the she shed. Okay. Rip it apart. <laughs> and put a pole in the middle. Well, can't you just put a pole in the middle? Yeah, but you have to get rid of all the furniture. Well, I mean, I can move it back. No, there's not enough room. It's a small room. It's 10 by 11. Let's just take over the family room. Okay. The I, kids th will th love when gonna, they need to gonna, get to the kitchen. Want, I, the kids are gonna bring over girlfriends and be like, um, Mom's pole dancing. Why is there a pole mounted in the middle of your living room? Let I don't know Mom how show well you. that will go. Yeah, they'll be like, don't bring it up. Don't, don't, don't have her start this. <laughs> Uh, next one is from Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Cindy said, I can't wait for Bronson to share and challenge us next month. Since my upping my protein, the scale has gone up a tad, but my inches are going down each week. We just talked about that, right? Your scale so has gone great. up four pounds since January. It has. But and your size has gone down. But my size has gone down. So again, it's like, what are you trying to do? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying to get in a certain clothes. I'm trying to wear certain outfits that I want. And I want to feel good. And that's a part of it, too. It's like... I really want to feel good and strong and I feel fantastic. Yeah. So next one is from Renee. Hey, Renee. Renee said, I always joke how I suck at math, except when it comes to the snooze button and my early days of low carb keto. I could manipulate numbers like a magician. Yep. I've since learned that manipulation of the numbers causes an even more twisted manipulation on my weight and how my body feels. It's so funny that we don't realize we're playing a game of solitaire mm -hmm. at where we can actually be the loser. Yes. So when you're trying to convince yourself and say like, I don't want to do total carbs or, you know, I, I don't want to do- I don't want to cap. 
I don't want to cap. I don't want to count these things. I want to act like I, I only have a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and I'm really going to put like fourth of a cup in mm -hmm. my coffee. You're the, you're the person that loses. Right. I'm the person that loses when I do that. And have I done that? Yes. And it has drug out my weight loss journey way longer than it needed to be. Yeah, I was recently watching a video from another YouTuber and they were talking about how, according to the app, you had to count this particular food. Okay. And they're like, but because this particular food was a combination of other foods, but the other foods don't count the same way. So like it had like five ingredients, but if you took those ingredients and just ate one at a time, it counted differently within the app. And so they're like, so wait a second. So if I eat this, it's nothing. But if I take this and this and make this, now it's something. Well, that's not fair. So I'm just going to, instead of counting what it says here, I'm just gonna count this and make it zero. And all you're doing is hurting yourself, right? You are. And that's why we always say like, when you see a product like spices or even something like, you know, this, okay? And if it says zero carbs, count it as one. Or if it says less than zero, like heavy whipping cream. So heavy whipping cream, always is going to have about 0.4 carbs per tablespoon. What does that mean? Almost all nutritional labels label it as zero. Does it mean it's zero carbs? No, it means it's 0.4 carbs per tablespoon and they can put zero. So what's the best thing to do? Every tablespoon, say it's at least a half or one. So when we make a drink, if we put a half a tablespoon in there or a tablespoon in there, we say, you know what, I had a carb. Worst case scenario. Worst case, you didn't eat as many carbs as you thought. Well, and that's that's not a bad thing. Right. You're going to be happy if you do that. Right. Like, I've lied to myself, and I've stalled my weight loss progress, and I've stalled my health goals. I was the only person that lost in that. Yeah. Okay, next one is from Carrie. Hey, Carrie. Carrie said, love this. It needed to be said. For me, the snacks and treats are mostly confusing. The food industry has never played fair and has duped us with hidden ingredients that are not good for us at all. I try to make everything from scratch myself, including desserts. That way I know absolutely what is in my food. It's not a bad policy. No. I remember how like sad I was when I finally got the message that that honeybee character from the Cheerios commercial did not actually authentically care <laughs> about that grandpa and granddaughter that's sitting right. at the breakfast table. And I don't know why I didn't get it for so long that I'm thinking that somebody that's feeding me doesn't necessarily care about me. My right. mom who's feeding me cares about me, but like this company that makes food doesn't care about me. And you know, if I go to Jiffy Lube and they change my oil, I'm not thinking to myself like, hey, auto mechanic, do you love me? Like, do you care about me and what's going on? I, it's a business transaction right, right. and I leave it there. Yeah, I mean, if anything, you go to a mechanic and you're always like skeptical, like yeah. are they really doing the work? Did they really fix it? Did they really change my oil? I remember when I was young, I was like 13 years old. My mom, we always went to this little local mechanic and you know, he got oil changes and she got them all done by this person. And then we had gone upstate and the car broke down. If my sister was watching this, she may even remember it because the car broke down and we had to go to, the only rental place was a place called Rent a Wreck. Wow. And I mean, it was like, this was something that came out of, I don't know what. A hot mess. I mean, driving home two and a half hours back to New Long Island and um, like it's overheating. So you have to turn on the heater and my sneakers are melting to the floor with my dad. Nice. But anyway, what it turned out to be was the mechanic that she had was never actually changing the oil. Like she no. was paying for it, but the oil had not been changed in years, but she was paying for it. So when you go to a mechanic, you're skeptical, right? But why aren't we skeptical of food companies? Because they have like these fuzzy, cute characters that we recognize from childhood. Right. And we're thinking that Tony the Tiger, you know, he, he can, you know, he's a like, shows how fit he is, right? right? He's like this roided out looking tiger. And I know that he will pick me up and carry me on his shoulders. And like, he totally loves me and, and he doesn't. Right. He's a cartoon character. And that is why we have really looked hard at companies that we work with, companies that we want to promote, even if we're not like affiliates with them, just like their products that we like, like Keto Brick, you know, or Keto Chow or, or even like Perfect Keto where 
they're developed by people from within the community, people who care about your health. Like if you go send an email to Robert Sykes, Keto Savage, the owner of Keto Brick, or to Crystal over on Instagram, they will answer you. They really care. Yeah. And they won't mess with the ingredients in their products because they're consuming them themselves. Like Chris on Keto Chow put himself through not just one time, but several times, like weeks and months of eating his product to see what does it do. He just went through doing a whole fat test. He did them for a hundred days. That's why we look at those companies. But when you look at a company like Kellogg's, they don't care. They care about one thing, the bottom dollar. Right. Uh, next one is from Keto Dana. Hey Dana, they say, I have no sense of direction. I'm a landmark kind of gal and I'm with Rachel. Every day is a new day when driving and going places. I'm in central Florida and my kiddos are lucky. They learn cursive and analog time in public schools. They are lucky. They are, that is seriously blessed. I don't think that we should learn less things, right? Right. Especially, it's, it's always interesting to me when we talk about progress and we have all of these different contraptions that are supposed to, you know, save us time mm -hmm. and energy. And it's like, what are we doing with that time? We're learning less? Shouldn't we learn more? <laughs> Why? What? Okay, let's take one more quick commercial break. Come back over with our Facebook comments. I thank my lucky stars for you. <laughs> Okay, Facebook comments. First one is from, oh, speaking of, Bronson. Hey, Bronson. Bronson said, Friday pro tip. Chances are you need to eat more than you're used to eating. That is very true, especially when it comes to protein. I have been blown away mm -hmm. by how my body feels so much better now that I've up my protein. Yeah, and it is amazing. I, I see a lot of people going, I don't understand the more protein. I don't understand like the protein calories don't count. And it's because your body really is not gonna use that protein for energy. It's using it for so many other functions like building muscle and amino acids and everything else. It's not using it for energy because it's not very good at using protein for energy. We've, we've given the analogy before, it's like if your car, and this would be a really bad car, especially with $3 a gallon gas right now. Right. But if your car got four miles per gallon, Think about protein, instead of four miles per gallon, you'd get one mile per four gallons. Wow. That, that is how protein works. So protein is used for other things, but not energy. Our body is gonna use alcohol first, because it's a poison, it wants to get rid of it. Then it's gonna use carbohydrates slash glucose. Then it uses fat. If none of that is available, then it goes to the protein. Why? Because it doesn't want to get four, uh, one mile to four gallons. It wants to get four miles to one gallon. It's smart. Yeah. Our bodies are smart. And Bronson's been awesome. I don't know if anybody has noticed. He is very active in our Facebook group. He's super excited. One of the reasons he wants to do our no joke challenge with us is because he sees how motivated everybody is yeah. to be getting more protein in because it is just something we need. It's a building block. People talk about like breakfast, the most important thing of the day. No, protein is the most important thing of the day. So do not be shy. If you have a question and you want it to get ask answered by a answer fitness you. trainer, he's the guy to ask. Yep. And normally he's charging for this. Yeah. He's in our Facebook family group right now, giving this information for free. He's counseling and he, he is coaching you guys for free, so take advantage of him don't, while he's in there. Don't waste this opportunity. Yep, okay, so next one is from Diane. Hey Diane, she says, I'm sure this has been asked, but I couldn't find it, so I'm gonna ask again. Is digestive resistant multidextrin basically the same as multidextrin? I avoid multidextrin like the plague, but wasn't sure if the digestive uh, resistant variety made it okay. Thanks for any info that you can provide. Okay, so there is a very big difference between the two. So multidextrin, is a binding agent. It's made from like corn and wheat and it does have a little bit of sweetness. So you're gonna see it a lot of products where a lot of times you find it in like spices. Mm -hmm. So they're using it for binding spices to like pork rinds or potato chips or um, like, you know, the protein ball. So right. even on keto friendly products, you're gonna find it, but it's also sweet and very high on the glycemic index. Um, it does have calories your body will digest it, it will elevate your glucose level. Digestive resistant maltodextrin is a little bit different. Now your body will digest maltodextrin. Digestive resistant maltodextrin is, they have actually gone in and modified the sugar strands within the maltodextrin and now it doesn't have any calories, your body doesn't digest it. So it is very different. 
the problem is, is in itself, digestive resistant maltodextrin doesn't have any calories and isn't digestible. The problem is, is some products out there, and I know of a couple, but I, I really don't want to like shame them too much. Right. We just choose not to promote them. Uh, add other products into their ingredient list, which reverse what the digest, it makes the digestive resistant fiber become digestible. So you kind of have to be careful. So I would say if, if you see it in itself and all of the other ingredients are really good, you're okay. But for the most part, just try to avoid it altogether. Yeah. That's your safest bet. As few ingredients as possible within your products is always going to be the best bet. It really will be. Uh, next one is from Brenda. Hey, Brenda. She says, can someone tell me what our goals should be for electrolytes, potassium, sodium, magnesium, and calcium each day? My husband struggles with leg cramps. Okay. Um, I don't really have the calcium one, uh, but potassium, we're looking for about 3,500 to 4,500 milligrams per day. And that is if you are like not super active. If you're out doing a lot of sweating, super, super active, where you're doing a lot of you know sweating, running around, that kind of stuff, like down here in South Florida, you're probably gonna wanna up that up a little bit more. Uh, but 3,500 to 4,500 milligrams of potassium between supplements and your food. Don't forget your food is gonna give you some of that stuff. Right. Um, 3,500 to 4,500 milligrams minimum of sodium. Sodium's real easy, just salt everything. It's the one time I can look at Rachel and be like, hey, have as much salt as you want, yeah. right? Yeah, and well, now, good salt. Good not, salt, not use table Redmond salt. real use salt, Redmond. or a really good high quality Himalayan pink salt. Very hard to find that, that's why we recommend Redmond. There is a link for it down below. You can get it in a lot of stores, but if you want to get it online, like the seasoned salt and stuff, the link down below, and then two crazy ketos will get you 15% off. Mine right here in, in the United States. Yep. Uh, and then for uh, magnesium, you're looking for about 300 milligrams of magnesium. Magnesium is a little bit tougher in some of the keto foods. So a lot of times you are going to have to supplement that. So we do recommend the Keto Chow Magnesium Drops, which don't taste really great. Um, put them in water. Put them in your water, or Rachel likes to do them straight. I Just can't do a do shot. That. Uh, the Keto Chow Daily Minerals, or you can use this Smart Sleep and take them at night. If you're getting leg cramps, highly recommend this or even using the magnesium drops, but this stuff tastes really good. It'll put yeah. you to sleep and it will help with the leg cramps. So leg cramps, uh, especially if they're coming at night, is usually magnesium. Yeah. So during regular cramps during the day, like right now my calf is cranking, uh, cramping up and that's from my games yesterday, that's gonna be a potassium issue. Okay, next one is from Steph. Hey Steph. Steph said, I pay more attention to carbs, well, ingredients, than a price. There is no price when it comes to my health. I'd rather pay $20 for a big old juicy steak than a $1,500 doctor bill. Well, that's absolutely true. And you know, you're, what you pay for will shift. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're used to saying like, well, my grocery bill is this much money every single week, and then you're on keto and you're starting to, you know, buy more like nicer cuts of meat or, you know, you're treating yourself to bacon and bacon's not like free, right? Right. Then you're, you're like, wow, my grocery bill has gone up. But if your medication bill is going down, I mean, we, we stopped paying $150 a month for just your arthritis medicine alone, just that one medicine. And that was after insurance. Yeah, so like all of a sudden you have $150 to play with mm -hmm. that you didn't have before. So yeah. I, I love that, you know, it shifts. You're, you're changing what, you know, you spend money on. Yeah, people ask us like, well, how do you afford keto products? First of all, you can do keto very, very cheap. We've done like $3 a day challenges. Um, but it comes down to when you stop buying all of the fast food and the processed products and the bag, bag of potato chips at $5 a bag, you all of a sudden realize, hey, I have some money to get some better quality food. Doesn't even have to be grass-fed, grass-finished. Yeah. But you, you have the opportunity to be able to buy some vitamins or buy some collagen or some protein powder. You have the money to maybe buy pasteurized eggs. Like I always tell people two things. Here was our steps in changing out products that we did. First, we just went keto. We dumped all the sugar all the way. That's that's our step one, right? Uh, then after that, we got rid of all of the crappy oils, right? Like all the canola oil, corn oil, things like that. Why? Because they're bad for you, whether you're on keto or not. They make like, you feel if, yucky. If you have friends and family who are doing standard American diet, go in their cabinet and take the corn oil and dump it down the drain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it's, it. It's garbage. It, it causes so many issues and nobody in America should be eating that oil. Nobody. 
So that's, and then after that, then we switched out the pasture raised eggs. Those were our three sets. That whole process took us six months. It did. Yep, so it, it's not something you have to do right away, but as you realize you're spending less money on other things, like $150 a month on arthritis medication, you start going, hey, I have more money for other stuff. We eat better now, higher quality ingredients. We go out for $27, 20 ounce prime rib steaks, and we spend less money now than we used to when we were like feeding everybody on just the standard American diet. But it was a shift because I mean, we can go out for Buffalo Wild Wings every single week if we want to, mm -hmm. because we don't like budget for a Starbucks drink every single day. That's right. So that was costing, you know, like four or $5 a day each. each. So, you know, once you're like, you know, it adds up. Yep. It's just that you have a shift in mentality. Of What's like, your you priority? Spend, yeah, where you spend your money. Okay, next one is from Amy. Hey, Amy. She says, I find the need to have mints or gum continuously throughout the day to reduce my hunger and snacking. What are the best sugar-free mints or hard candies that anyone is using? I don't want to waste my carb limit on little candies, but I need something. Okay, so um, I'm going to suggest something which you probably don't want to hear. And the reason I'm going to suggest it, because I've also suggested it to this one right here, who is a gum addict. Yes. Here is the problem with all of the sugar-free, low-carb gums, mints out there. They're sweetened with xylitol. Yeah. So xylitol is technically a sugar alcohol, but xylitol is not zero on the glycemic index, which means every time you have something with xylitol in it, you are having some insulin reactions. So it may not be helping you in a great way. Uh, so what I would suggest is switching over to drinking water, maybe drinking some electrolytes. You can use um, the either the Perfect Keto, like they're the, having a commercial, yeah, or the, the Redmond Relight. Relight. Um, use those. Yes, there's some stevia in there, but that is zero on the glycemic index, and it won't impact you as much. Drink coffee. Even if you drink black coffee with a few drops of stevia or sucralose or you know something like that in there, that's going to be better than the mint. So find a bridge other than something the xylitol. You can even, if you don't mind it, like there are some gums out there, but they don't last very long with taste where they're sweetened with stevia. It's really frustrating. And it's very frustrating, but most of them have xylitol and that is not going to give you the result you want, especially because again, it's a it is a sugar alcohol, but it's not as good of a sugar alcohol as erythritol or allulose because it's not zero on the glycemic index. It's also dangerous for dogs. The other thing that helped me is getting the uh, salt rocks from mm -hmm. Redmond where you can buy just like the big rocks and then just have that in my mouth because it's it's really a lot of it is a behavior issue. It's just kind of like, you know, what is hard for people even when they're smoking and you're trying to stop smoking is like having this thing. And that's yes. why some, you know, people can make that transition from, you know, cigarettes to like a vape machine and then, mm -hmm. you know, continue moving out because it's a behavior thing. Yeah. I just want to be touching something, yep. you know, sometimes you would just associate it with like a rest for a minute. So maybe you're like, don't chew gum, mm -hmm. but like you just, you get to have like, a five minute, just close your eyes, do some breathing exercises because you're giving yourself just a little bit of relief for a moment. Yeah. So, you know, just changing out the behavior. Yeah, even something, getting some Zevia, you know, so buy some Zevia, which is sweetened with Stevia and having some sips of that. But honestly, you're better off getting some, I know this is, people are gonna put, I see people typing right now, uh -oh. don't tell them this. You're better off getting celery and snacking on celery every yeah. time you wanna have gum because, Yes, there's carbs in celery, but there's fiber in celery. It's like one of those, almost like a negative kind of thing. Like you can, you can eat an entire bunch of celery a day. It is not going to impact you. And certainly not like eating an entire pack of gum, which I know Rachel has done. I've totally eaten an entire, like a container of gum. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Nancy said, I have a friend on keto and she is taking fat blockers and carb blockers. She says it helps her stay in ketosis. She is losing weight and she feels great. Is this a good idea? So does uh, does anyone else do this? Okay, I'm gonna answer this and I'm gonna leave this up here. Don't do this. <laughs> Don't do this. And I'm sorry. How do you really feel? This is gonna this is gonna sound bad. It's stupid. It's stupid. Your friend is not stupid. Not your friend. This no, your action friend. This is this stupid. action and a company that is telling you that you should do this. The idea of keto, of course she's staying in ketosis because 
Ketosis is basically a starvation protection mode. It's how our body protects ourselves from starvation. So it burns the fat. Here's the problem is you're when you're if you're blocking all the carbs and you're blocking all the fat, you're getting zero energy. Zero energy. So now you're you need some fat to be able to take in vitamins and stuff. Your body needs to take in some fat for some healing properties. Like it's it's a shortcut that's not a good idea. Let your body work naturally. If you eat the proper products, keep your carbohydrates low enough, eat lots of protein, your body will take care of the fat. You don't have to eat your entire fat goal, but don't eat none of it and then take something or very little bit and then take something to stop your body from body from absorbing fat. I I'm going to go another layer and okay. say that I think a lot of it is just baloney. Like it's baloney, it's a placebo effect mm -hmm. that you're saying like I'm doing this and I feel good and I'm, you know, I have the confidence to stay on track. Right. That's not like you know, helping you, that's just, you're spending money to stay on track. How about pay yourself right. instead? Like, because those things are not cheap. I remember like my friend- Ali, remember Ali? Prince Ali, fabulous with, with that, Ali you, you would take that stuff, it would block the fat, and then you'd get like the ring of oil around the top of the toilet. And I don't know how much it was actually doing, or if it was just an oil pill that like caused you to like go to the bathroom and like have an oil slick in your toilet. Right. So, I mean, I think it's just confidence to keep going. If you're thinking that it's working, then maybe it's working. So my idea would be like, take $30, you know, because it's usually like $30 a month for those pills mm. and just be like, I'm going to pay myself a dollar every single day that I stay on track. Yeah. And, and at the end of the month, you will have the reward and the satisfaction that those pills are giving you, but then you get to keep your $30. Right. It's like people who try to tell you that taking exogenous ketones is going to get you back into nutritional ketosis when you have a carby snack. No, it's not. Will it get you, will it put ketones in your blood? Yes, but it doesn't mean your body is utilizing ketones or making ketones from fat. In fact, it's not and it's making it worse because you're gonna use those and not have to make any ketones. Yeah. So uh, next one is from Danielle. Hey Danielle, she says, is it possible to lose 20 pounds in two months? If so, help me with ideas as to how. I'm new to keto, I've tried it all, but still end up not losing much. I need help. Update to say that I am 43 years old, 411 in height, 145 pounds, no health issues. I have a two year old that broke me, LOL. I haven't been able to lose the extra weight after I had him. Okay, is it possible to lose 20 pounds in two months? Yes. Not really. Is it, <laughs> is it probable? No. No, okay, and here's the thing. Okay, so when I first started on keto, I lost 20 pounds in a month. Rachel started on keto at the same time didn't lose any. And then when she came back the same, like six months later and did keto, having already been in nutritional ketosis because she fasted for a month, she lost a whopping four pounds in 30 days, but she dropped three sizes. Right. Here's what's gonna happen. You set a goal for I need to lose 20 pounds in two months, okay? Or the, like even me, like I'm struggling right now to drop weight and I'm like, I did it before. But 20 pounds in a month or 20 pounds in two months isn't realistic. Uh, a good healthy weight loss is a half a pound to a pound a week. So what I'm gonna tell you to do is set your goal on that. Say like, I wanna lose a half a pound to a pound a week. If you lose more, awesome. Right. But if you don't get that you know, 10 pound thing that you've set it, you're just going to make yourself upset and set yourself up to label yourself as a failure. Like I'm a firm believer in under promising and over delivering, right? Yeah. So promise yourself this much and then give yourself this much. But when you go the other way around, you're just, you're not gonna be happy. Just take your time. It will come off if you do it right. Well, my, my advice is to have the grace that you have for your son with yourself. Cause I am sure that one day your son is going to write the most fantastic, fabulous book report, mm -hmm. but you do not expect him to write one by the end of this month. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's two years old right. and it's going to take time for him to develop. So you're, you're not mad at him. You're not angry. Like why another day with no book report two year old, right. you know, so have the same attitude with yourself. You've got a lot of life to live 
and you will get to your goals, but like, don't be angry with yourself because you want to fast track success. And look at it this way. We say this all the time, right? You need to give yourself at least how long it took you to put it on. So you say it came from having your son, That's which is months. two years ago. So let's just say nine months. It took you nine months to put the weight on. Don't try to take it off because we know it's harder to take it off than put it on. So right. like, right, you can put on weight like that, right? I'm great at it. But it's a lot harder to take it off. So why are we not at least giving ourselves how long it took to put it on to get it off? So if it took nine months to put it on, Give yourself at least nine months to get it off. Yeah. So we have one more. It's from Donna. Hey, Donna. Donna said, first doctor visits and starting keto, doctor noticed my weight loss and without asking me what I was doing to lose weight, said, if you have problems with hunger, try keto. Wow. That is awesome. It's kind of hard to find doctors that support you in keto. So like you need to like share who your doctor is in what area so that if someone lives near you, they could go to that doctor too. Yeah. Go ahead and put that in the Facebook family group, what area you're in and like who the doctor is. That's a great thing. I know Dr. Barry and a couple of people have put up like lists, but it's very hard to find like a keto friendly doctor. What's wrong? I'm sad. <laughs> It's over. Well, that's good because that's the last comment. So okay, well, that is going to be this week's Keto on the Couch. Here, you can have the rest of my coffee. Thank you very much. Uh, that's this week's Keto on the Couch. And again, please make sure you join us on our Thursday night live stream at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. We do that every single Thursday, as well as some other spot, like spontaneous live streams throughout the week. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, we have 104 more Keto on the Couches, which I'm gonna link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next week, bye. bye.